My name is Orietta Janiorio. I'm a professional taster, and these are my diaries. Today, we are still in Sicily. We are driving along the coast and then among thousands of olive trees. From Taormina, we are going south, all the way to Siracusa and then west to the small town of Bucheri on the Lauro Mountains. Romans, Byzantine and Arabs colonized this territory and soon understood the fertility of the land. After drinking from a fontana in the main piazza that I was told has very special water and after getting some fresh fruit from the farmer, as all the locals do in the morning, my friend Tanya brings me to her family orchard where I can see the beginning of one of my favorite olive oils, the 100% Tondai Blea Organic Olive Oil Le Case di Lavinia. After walking around the orchard, it is time to help harvest some olives. Tania's crew shows me how it's done, and so I gave it a try. Tania and her trusted handman Pino take me on a tour of the surrounded area. What a great place and what a fantastic building I wish I could buy. Olive trees around here are thousands of years old and Romans, Byzantine or Arabs, they saw it all. After a nice visit, Tanya tells me a little secret and so I've decided to stay in Bouquet. I've heard that there is a fantastic chef named Sebastiano at a place called Ulocare. That's where I am right now, and I think I'm up for one of the most fantastic meals of my life. Let's go in. As soon as we enter, the owner and chef, Sebastiano, just tell us what he can prepare for us that day, according to what is fresh and in season and then he disappears in the kitchen only to come out with some of the most simple yet delicious dishes i've ever tried the taste of every dish is alive and vibrant fresh energetic the simplicity of each recipe showcases all the ingredient without any addition nothing that could overwhelm and hide the natural flavor of high quality ingredients. The sun-dried tomatoes were some of the best I've ever tried. Generally, sun-dried tomatoes are in fact too dry, but these were bright and full of taste. Fresh food and in season is the secret of this low food presidium chef. Actually, he doesn't want me to call him chef. He says to him, ingredients alone of the highest quality make the dish. A chef can only mess it up if he interferes too much. Abbiamo nella zona Iblea prodotti di altissima qualità e secondo me non bisogna alterare i prodotti diciamo lavorandoli perché già basta poco, basta solo riconoscere quello che abbiamo nelle mani. And of course, he knows my weakness and he prepares cannoli siciliani. I have to say, this were probably the best cannoli I've ever had. The filling was made with goat ricotta, absolutely fresh and Sebastiano only added a very small amount of sugar so the cannoli could showcase the fresh ingredients and not the sugar. And then high quality bitter chocolate on both sides. Domori, he tells me, and I say, of course. I can guarantee you, I will never forget this flavor in the town of Bucheri. In fact, I dream of going back 
taste olive oil and eat Sebastiano food and cannoli all day. The funny and sweet brother and co-owner of the restaurant U Locale Giuseppe or Billy Crystal, as he tells me, often he get mistaken by the famous actor, confirms that Sicilian cooking is unique. La cucina siciliana è uno sortimento vario che cambia da città a città, da regione a regione. Per esempio un cannolo a Buccheri è diverso da un cannolo a Palermo, una cassata siciliana catalese è diversa da quella grigentina. For now, taking the plane, flying above the sky and landing in Rome. Just a couple of days before I make my return to the United States of America. Ciao, ciao Italia!